Hi guys, how are you? So I don't know if you can hear that. That is the rain. It has been going for, it feels like days now, but it's actually only like probably we're on day three. Day three of the heavy rains in Los Angeles. Anyways, it's Tuesday and this is officially my last week of full-time work. So at this current job, then I go down to 25% next week, which is just two hours a day, which is kind of exciting. I have my orientation next Monday too with Trader Joe's where I get to pick up my t-shirt and all the things. So we'll see and then um, how that goes. And I feel like I feel a little anxious still this week. I've been stalling on doing my design stuff and I don't know what it is. I really have to kind of look at that. I, I think it's because I don't. I'm doing a design job for my old boss and I just, it's kind of taking me back to my corporate workspace again and I really want to focus on doing my own design so I'm having this internal battle but it's okay. I just need to focus, block some time, do it and then get it out of the way. I think when you start feeling anxious about things, the only way to overcome it is to do, is to have action so I just need to do it. So I'm going to focus today on getting my work stuff done for this last week and then yeah maybe we'll do some design stuff later on today i don't know why i came on here i just felt like a little chit chat because it's a cold rainy day and uh yeah i don't know just feeling in my little cozy vibes all right bye okay so i am at h mart no h mart sorry i'm at tokyo central right now in torrance and i'm trying sorry chapstick I'm trying to find this viral mango ice cream that I've seen all over TikTok called Propitus Mango or something like that. I'm saying it wrong, totally. But I'm gonna go to Tokyo. I'm gonna go into Tokyo Central and see if I can find it. Wish me luck. Okay, so that was the best. They didn't have it there, so I'm going to go to 99 Ranch in Torrance. See if they have it there. If they don't have it there, then I'm gonna go to H Mart. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, here we go. Okay, so it's much later now. You can see it's dark outside. I went to 99 Ranch. They didn't have it there. I tried Tokyo Central, didn't have it there, and I tried Mitsua. Now Tokyo Central and Mitsua are both Japanese markets, so I don't know if they carry it there, if they only, because I might be Chinese, I'm not sure. Anyways, we're at H Mart, which I think is more of like a Korean store, but it's my last store I'm gonna check tonight, and then if they don't have it, I'm gonna give up. I'm sad, that's okay, I don't need the ice cream, but. To try it. <laughs> okay, so I could not find any ice cream <laughs> that I wanted, but I did find this at Costco. It's the white rabbit. It tastes like those white rabbit candies. It literally does, which is like um, a milk milk flavored. So that's kind of cool. I like those, but. I also went out today and I want to show you what I got. So I got this. It's actually two separate um, displays and they're like the corner displays. And normally you would use them, I guess, like for a plant shelf or something. But they were on sale for $30. I scratched the top of it already. That's okay. And um, But I thought they'd be perfect for candles. like putting them together for the upcoming shows. And what I like about them so much is that you can break them down. These all lift up, all of these lift up, and then these just close. I was like, that is perfect for doing one of my shows. So I'm really excited for the next craft fair and I'll be able to use this. The only thing is this, I think it was on sale because this has a slight, a little bit of a slant, but I was looking at it and I can just unscrew this, unscrew this right here. And lift it up so yay good morning guys happy weekend today is Sunday and it's very windy and rainy out so it's super windy outside right now I'm gonna go walk my dog because I still have a few errands I have to do so I want to get him outside before the rain starts and then I'm just gonna go to Trader Joe's and Target do all the plain boring basic stuff um, and then I have to work on my design project uh, for the freelance job 
right after that so I can square that away. But I wanted to show you what I made. Have a look. Okay, so in an effort to be healthier, I've made this big pot of lentil soup. Hold on. I want the thing to get all foggy. But look at this. Isn't that good? So I want to go to Trader Joe's and just get some crusty bread. But this has got lentils and all sorts of good vegetables in it. So I'm really excited. This will last me all week. But perfect for a rainy winter day. Let's see if we'll focus on him. There he is. Hiding in my pillows. Oh yeah, look at it. I also got these. I got a little cat to go with my dog because this cat looks like my old cat Enzo and I just thought he was so cute. <laughs> hey you, you wanna go for a walk? You wanna go for a walk? Let's go, come on. Okay, it is like super, super windy and wet out there. I look like a drowned rat, I just came back. I did some shopping, so I just went to Cost Plus World Market and Trader Joe's. But I got some really nice smelling soap. So I got some hobnobs. Um, these come from Britain. If you're British, you'll, you'll know, but they're like, they're like basically a cookie, a digestive cookie covered with a little bit of chocolate. And then I also got <laughs> a coffee crisp. So, um, these are Canadian. It's like a chocolate wafer bar, but with coffee flavor in it. So, two little treats. And then, I don't have any like good soup bowls. I, I, this is what I went for. I got two like good sized soup bowls because it's just wintry. It's like, like ramen, salad bowls. Um, so I got two of these, which I think are so cute. And they kind of go with my other plates that kind of have like a darker tan color. Not exactly, but they will work. And then I just went to Trader Joe's. So I went for this so I can toast some bread. Mm, put it in with my soup and then I found this I'm so happy so this is the peppermint hot chocolate it's seasonal but they had some in the corner so I quickly grabbed this it's so good what else did I get cheap dish soap I got some toasted oats so I can have with my berries some eggs for a healthier breakfast grapefruit my dill pickle salad Chicken, what are these? Chicken sausage, a pear, a pepper, an avocado, and a little salami packet. And that's it. All right, I'm gonna heat up the soup and uh, wash the bowls and get ready to dig in. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's so good. Ah, look at this bun. What is going on here? Anyways, I'm sitting here on my little um, bench. My dog is loving it because I'm at his level. And I'm going to go find some jewelry stuff and see what we can create because I like, just thought I would make some earrings. Look at this. Ooh. Facelift. Oh yeah. Maybe one day I'll be rich and I can get a facelift. Ten years. Right there. <sighs> Sorry. Anyways. Let's go back to jewelry making. So it's funny. This is the state of me making jewelry it's all my old jewelry stuff that I had tucked away but I did make some earrings which I think are super cute and yeah I'm gonna put this away now it's a mess it takes over my total apartment okay it's kind of hard to see let's see if we can get some better light here there we go so these are the three sets of earrings that I made and these are all actually, they're semi-precious stones. So they're Chalcedony and I can't remember what the screen one is actually, I'd have to look it up. But yeah, and they're on 14 karat gold fill. So I just have some extra, some extra inventory, some stock from when I used to make jewelry. So I like to do this to get some, uh, it's just relaxing for me. And then I'll just sell them at the craft fairs. Hello, it is Sunday. Today is Super Bowl Sunday and I'm not really a football person so everyone else is going to be watching football and I just decided to get uh, as many things as I could done today so I'm trying to be productive. I'm not going to lie, I'm feeling a little, um, I don't know, I'm feeling a little bit down on myself. 
I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I just feel like I'm not achieving much. Uh, we're already in the middle of February and you know, I haven't been posting on social media about my business, about my stationary business, because I feel like my products are kind of old and stagnant and I haven't been able to create any new products. So that's kind of got me down. I'm going to go for a walk, I think, get some coffee, take my doggo out and just try to move my body a little bit and come back and see where the rest of the day takes me because I'm just in, I'm in a kind of funk. I'm in my Sunday funk and uh, I'm not sure why. But anyways, let's go for a walk. Hello you. You want to go for a walk? Do you want to go for a walk? Hey, Stinky. Should we go for a walk? <gasps> Should we go for a walk? Okay, let's go. <laughs> he says yes. Oh, and by the way, this morning, they were marathon runners outside of my house. which I was like, look at all these healthy people. <laughs> I was walking my dog, looking like a scrub, and they're already out there running a marathon. So yeah, maybe that has something to do with it, my, me feeling not so productive. Okay, so I'm back and uh, went for a nice walk and then it turned and I just jumped in my car and went to Target and Trader Joe's to get a few things, not much, but I realized, I think the reason I'm just feeling a little bit down today is I miss my daughter and um, yeah, I just, I miss her and I'm feeling lonely. So, which kind of, I don't know. I think that's why I really want to work at Trader Joe's so I can be around people and working from home is great. But I think, oh, look at my hair, what a mess. I think I'm just, uh, just sad. So I miss her. I'm not gonna see her till May. So, February, March, April, two and a half months. It's just hard. It's hard when the person you love the most is so far away. And I don't know, like, I, I'm sure other people go through this empty nesters. You know, it's, it's a little different if they can drive home once a month or, like, you can visit them on a weekend or something. But, ugh, to not see your child for, like, five months at a time, I'm probably... I don't know. Maybe I'm like a helicopter mom. I don't know. <laughs> I like to think I'm not. I just really miss her. I miss her. I miss my community. <sighs> it's one of those days. Anyways, this new spice came out and uh, at Trader Joe's. And it's supposed to be really good. They say they put it on. It's like a minced garlic, sea salt, parsley, red bell pepper, chili pepper. So it's just supposed to be really good on like chicken, pasta. We're going to try this. I also got, can you see this? It's their fig butter. It's so good. I love, okay, here we go. Their fig butter. It's delicious. We got some bread. The rustic kind, because I like to toast this with my soup. Got some chicken. Some potatoes. Just make some hearty stews. And uh, a little chocolate bar. Not too much. Nothing too exciting. Okay, but this, so I, I got some coffee pods and I'm kind of bummed because these were $10 and these were literally the cheapest ones that I could find when I was at Target. They have coffee pods, same amount, at Trader Joe's and it's $5.99. So I'm going to try those next time. Got some Drano in my bathroom. I'll let you care. Some cream, some water flavor and some popcorn, maybe because it's Super Bowl, right? And I might put it on for a bit. Here we go, off to my eight hour shift at Trader Joe's. This is the fit, <laughs> Trader Joe's sweatshirt, Trader Joe's shirt, comfy New Balance shoes, and some jeans. <laughs> Here we go. Good morning. This is my cell phone camera because I'm too lazy to get out of bed to use my vlogging camera. I <laughs> am so sore this morning. Oh my gosh, every muscle in my body hurts. I knew this was going to happen and I <laughs> knew <laughs> that this was going to only, like hopefully will only last for a week, but I actually like, I'm sore 
and it's interesting my chest muscles and my arms are really sore and I think it's from lifting boxes and pallets like up above my head um, I had my first day completed at Trader Joe's my first eight hour shift I should say and um, it's really it was really good but those people hustle like it's it's definitely like you are busy all the time so anyways super happy um it's like a gym workout for me so i really needed this i i get paid to basically lift things and work out and talk to people so that's how i'm gonna look at it this is my stay healthy as you age regimen and um yeah so i'm gonna get up and get some coffee and stuff but i just wanted to give you a quick update while i'm still in the moment <laughs> all right bye Thank you.